007. What's the average IQ of the Michigan Farm Bureau Board of Directors? <laughs> Send in the clowns. What does Rick Johnson say before a session of the General Assembly? <laughs> They asked President Bush about the situation in Kosovo. And Bush said, well, Kosovo's fine. Laura and I prefer Sam's Wholesale Club. <laughs> I'm George W. Bush, and I approve that joke. <laughs> well, I don't think we're ever going to find Osama bin Laden. I think he's hiding somewhere where he'll never be found. Customer service at Home Depot. <laughs> So we can hang that one up, right? Whether you're for the war in Iraq or against it, I say, look at it my way. Any conflict that put Dan Rather in the line of fire can't be all bad. <laughs> anyway, uh, of course, Rather had that interview with Bill Clinton, and I don't want to joke about the former president. He is recovering from heart surgery, but you know, everybody knew there was problems with Bill Clinton's heart when he started grabbing his own chest. <laughs> credit though he is the only man in history who could corner a woman in an oval office <laughs> Clinton's problem is he won't let go if you've noticed he thinks somehow that he still should be president you know, I don't want to tell George W. Bush how to do his job <laughs> well why did he wait so long to go after Saddam Hussein I wish I had had that chance because when I was your commander-in-chief Saddam Hussein threatened to kidnap my wife Hillary and I said, look, buddy, it is too late to try to get on my good side. <laughs> well, hello again, everybody, from ABC Sports. My name is Keith Jackson. Saying from Labor. Well, my good friend out there, David Dejanovich. David was telling me scandal has rocked the University of Michigan football team. Today, campus police searched the car of a Wolverine football player and discovered a foreign substance, a textbook. <laughs> I understand Coach Lloyd Carr has just signed a player who makes straight A's. His B's are kind of crooked, but they're going to work on it. I just thought really Nelson might have crossed the line of good taste just a tiny bit when he actually went into a recording studio and recorded Somewhere over the rainbow What's what are they going to do next? The whole soundtrack from The Wizard of Oz? Ding dong, the witch is dead <laughs> Order now, you get Willie Delson doing your cartoon favorites with hits like Meet George Jetson Jane his wife it bothers me, it bothers me. You notice that? That's okay, no. This is John Kerry. My wife, Teresa's money is the last thing I think about. Every night before I go to bed, it's the last thing I think about. Hi, this is Andy Rooney. Do you ever wonder why service stations lock the restrooms? Come on, they afraid somebody's gonna break in and clean one up. <laughs> Do you ever notice Prince Charles? With those ears, you ever stop to think that if Prince Charles ran to a cornfield, it would make the same sound as a playing card attached to the spokes of a bicycle wheel. <laughs> well, name right there, folks. This is Jay Leno here from the Tonight Show. Have you seen this? Is the stupidest commercial I ever seen in my life. Guy looks right in the camera and says, x length works while you sleep. Who would want that? <laughs> I ain't got such commercials that three out of ten people suffer from hemorrhoids. What do the other seven do? Enjoy the darn things? <laughs> How much more fun would it have been for somebody like me that does this type of comedy if this gentleman instead had been elected our vice president back in 2000? 
Uh, this is Senator Joseph Lieberman. Uh, praise be to God and uh, heavens to Murgatroyd. Hey, Snagglepuss! If Lieberman's not Snagglepuss, he has to be the voice of Morris the Cat. Nine lives, I'm being finicky now. Where's my Tintin? I believe in separated at birth, I do. I believe that Bill Gates, the chairman of Microsoft, has to be the voice of the Martian on the Bugs Bunny cartoons. The Earth Rabbit makes me very angry. Windows XP. I got way too much time on my hands. And there's proud father, read my lips, George Bush Sr. Great to be here, good friend MC Carl Bonartsky here. Known Carl for years. Carl's an educated man, very educated. He holds a PhD, which stands for Pizza Hut Delivery. <laughs> Never forget when Carl came to the White House. Carl remembers as a formal affair. Carl was kicked out for indecency. He took the invitation, literally. It said black tie only. <laughs> it's all Carl wore. He was disbarred by the Supreme Court. Now imagine that humiliation of being told you're too dishonest to even be a lawyer. <laughs> Hell, that's like being told you're too ugly to work at a Waffle House. I mean... <laughs> this is Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I believe as your executive director, that my friend Stan Dawson is doing the work of three men, Mo, Larry, and Curly. So when you get up to see him, you've got to do your Reagan impression for Ronald Reagan. I said, there's no way I'm going to do that. But somehow, the, the man was so disarming, I got on my nerve, I'm standing this far away, and I said, excuse me, but aren't you the famous actor and former governor of California, Ronald Wilson Reagan? Without missing a beat, he looked back, he said, no. Apparently, you are. <laughs> I miss the Gipper. I'm not a weak-minded person. I only answer to the people of the state of Minnesota. You know, my good friend, your president, chairman of the board, Wayne Wood, a good friend of mine, people who work for Wayne, though, tell me they wish he was the Pope, and then they'd only have to kiss his ring. <laughs> And I hope he's laughing at that one. Good. Okay, my wife, she can't come at all, you know, in my backyard. But a fly's chipped in to fix the screen door. <laughs> <laughs>